bonjour. Euh, je suis dans le kiosque de Harry au IBC à Amsterdam. J'aimerais vous présenter quelque chose d'absolument merveilleux euh, qui concerne la fameuse caméra Alexa, euh, qui fait fureur euh, dans tous les pays du monde et sur tous les plateaux de tournage et bientôt en mode studio télévision euh, pour les captations de télénovelas, téléromans et tout, qui va complètement révolutionner notre façon de faire. En ma présence, j'ai celui qui a euh, inventé le tout, transformé le tout. Je vous présente Hendrik Voss. De Merci Harry. beaucoup. Bonjour. Oui, bonjour. Can you explain to me what kind of transformation you did on this famous, uh, fabulous camera? Yes, for sure. Um, actually, we saw that the Alexa has been used already um, in broadcast kind of applications. I think you just mentioned that um, it's being used in telenovelas, um, it's being used for rock concerts and all kinds of stuff. So we got some feedback from our customers who said, why don't you integrate that system even further into a multi-camera environment? And we say, yeah, well, great, that's a, that's a good idea. Um, of course, we, we, we want to do that, um, want to bring that cinematic look Into a, into a more broadcast-like environment. And we didn't really have to make a new camera for that. What we did is that we made an, an option for the Alexa or for an Alexa Plus um, to integrate that camera, to have uh, fiber integration into a multi-camera studio environment and also to have some live painting capabilities. And in order to do that, we had to modify the software of the Alexa a bit. Um, in fact, we are accessing the internal lookup table the Alexa and now we can, with that new software, we can um, change the lookup table live and in real time and that's how we do the image painting inside the Alexa. And the second thing is a hardware thing, you see it on, 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 to, on the camera is a small box and that box is our fiber remote box and it's an interface between the actual camera and the telecast copperhead system. Telecast is a very well known company for fiber systems. Uh, so they already had their parts there and we just adopted it to the Alexa camera. They also have a remote control panel which connects to the base station. That remote control panel would then sit in the control room and um, it allows us to control the iris remotely for example, be it for a um, PA mount lens uh, controlling our CLM motors or be it even an ENG type lens, you know that Fujinon came out with a new Cabrio uh, PL mount ENG type zooms. So both type of lenses can be controlled by the joystick for the iris. And of course, image parameters can be changed with a remote control panel like RGB, gain, gamma, pedestal, and all, all those kinds of stuff. Yeah, we did some testing with that system uh, in the past with, with companies who, who can use it in, in such um, multi-camera applications and the feedback was very positive and now we will have um, a product in the first quarter of 2013. Um, we have figured out three different options. First option is it's obviously just the box and the license to attach to any existing Alexa or Alexa Plus camera. Uh, we have a tentative pricing of around um, 10,000 euros for that. So, so take an Alexa EV, uh, take the box, you're ending up 60,000 euros. Still need the telecast system, still do need an onboard monitor. Um, and the second bundle, in fact, it's a strip down Alexa without the viewfinder, without the SPS module, without the RE RAW, which you obviously most of the time don't need in such a um, studio yes. environment. And that makes the system cheaper yeah, for the EV, around 40,000 euros for the plus camera, including the box and the software. Um, around 48,000 and then there's a third option and that's the upgrade from the strip down version to full cinema version again. And all those will be available in the first quarter 2013. Information on our website, ari.com and I think it's an exciting small tool again to, to get the camera oh, yes. further integrated. Sure, so thank you to have brought that to us. J'aimerais vous présenter un instrument de rêve dont j'ai moi-même toujours rêvé euh, lors de ma carrière d'assistant caméra il n'y a pas si longtemps que ça. Alors, Hendrik, how you came on the ID to uh, do something like that? Yeah, frankly, um, it was time to, to bring out something new and um, we, we looked we looked at, at the people working with 
systems and thought what can we do better and we looked at, at every th single aspect of such a hand unit and um, and yeah and, and in the end it ended up like this and um, we have a three axis compact unit here it's um, the first unit in the market that really has all three axes for zoom iris and focus integrated in a very compact manner um, and we have we have worked on, on on the focus ring for example the focus ring is ex extremely fluid um, it has an adjustable friction which you can very easily uh, change um, the focus ring itself is backlit you don't see that now in the light but if you go to the darkness you see that it has a light source inside the, uh, the ring so it's very well readable that, yeah. at the same time it's not really distracting performers because it's just shining into your your direction um, the unit features a three-inch transflective display. It's quite a big display for such a hand unit and it's transflective. So if you are in the brightest sunlight, it's using the ambient light to light the display. And it has an ambient light sensor, so once it detects much ambient light, it will turn off the backlight and will save some power. Um, now, since that display is having some space, we can show some things there. And one of those things um, by default is the lens data display. It's, it's integrated in the system. So here we have the iris slider and the index of the iris slider is running on the, on the display. So we have a very accurate, good, readable, well readable uh, display. Um, of course, you, you can set focus marks and limits, soft limits. So once you do that, there's a small visual mark in the, in the screen. And what you what I can, can't, tell, can't show now really, but because you don't see it, but there's a vibration. And if I go through, through over that mark, the unit will vibrate and you will feel it. You don't actually have to look at the unit because maybe you want to focus on your talent, but you're feeling uh, uh, the thing. Um, yeah, the zoom knob is a, is a pre pressure sensitive knob, which, which you might all know. Um, it's, it's ergonomically formed. Um, underneath the handle, we have a, a small red button. Uh, that's a user programmable button, so you could put any function you want there. For example, you could say, okay, when I press it, I want to set a focus mark. Or you could say, when I press it, it should be the zoom zap, like the quick zoom. Or what, whatever you want to have there, you can program it. You can customize your unit to your needs. Which brings me to the next point, we have an SD card slot. So, of course, the SD card is used to, uh, to copy updates, software updates to the unit very easily. No need for special cables with funny names, which nobody can remember. Um, and at the same time, you can load your personalized settings onto the SD card. Now imagine your 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 first AC focus puller, and you you rent such a unit, and you really take your time to set it up and like it. And, but it's not yours. Maybe you're renting it. Take your SD card with your settings with you. Next time you're in such a unit, put the SD card in, load your setting, and you have your personalized unit again. Wow. Um, it's, it became quite lightweight. Um, it's lighter than the WCU3, 50 grams lighter, so it's quite very ergonomic and lightweight. You have various positions to hold that unit. Um, and we have different mounting options. We have two threaded holes here, that's for monitor brackets, so you can attach a monitor, we will provide some brackets. And then here we have another two mounting options, which are for the coffee bracket. Now what's a coffee bracket you might want? It's a coffee bracket, imagine you're, you're working and you want to you have to take a cup of coffee. Um, so there will be a bracket on the tripod and you will just take your unit and click, put it there. And the operator can still change the lens. That's why I call it the coffee bracket. Yeah, and drink the coffee at the same time. Yeah. You know, we have the camera, we have the Alexa camera, Alexa Plus. We have lenses, we have remote systems. And why not combining it and making a benefit out of the whole system? So we say, yeah, of course, it makes sense to do that. So. Um, with a further software update that will come with, for the unit and for the Alexa Plus camera, um, you see the Alexa status info, you see how many minutes are left on my cards and all that kind of stuff. And eventually it will also be possible to control the Alexa with that unit, meaning you can set up frame rate, shutter angle, exposure index, enter high speed mode, and all, Everything. That, all that stuff Almost that's really important. Yeah, very nice. Can. And last but not least, it will be available in February as our target uh, for a price of 5,950 euros. Which is amazing. You know, that's a dream for me. And ergonomically, it's fantastic, it's light, the handle is 
right for my hand. So I should go back to the business, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> or buy one for myself. <laughs> hey, thank you very much, Hendrik. Thank you too. It's uh, fantastic too.